all of a sudden your boy got this urge to hit the rack stores let's go all right so i am in my local ross as you can see paris hilton for him or for men whichever one which is an okay scent but it didn't perform well on my skin uh, this is euphoria for men the og this is not the what is it the intense i had the intense i should have kept it but being a dummy i got rid of it sean john's unforgivable a pretty good fragrance as you can see here's another one smaller one a gift set This one is a pretty good scent also, that Kenneth Cole Blue. I actually like that one a lot. That's one of the better cheapies I picked up. And as y'all can see here, there's really the same old, same old. That price was ridiculous for that fragrance. I found that fragrance for a lot cheaper than that, but it is what it is, guys. But like I said, a lot of the same old, same old guests, Cuba, um, that's a pretty good one. Mont Blanc individual. Just pretty much the same old, same old, the run of the mill fragrances that you've already heard a million of us reviewers mention in the past. Um, yes, they are still decent, but a lot of those fragrances for me just didn't do it for me anymore after a while the eternity air was one of those fragrances that i did not care for i bought tried it took it back nautica voyage still stands the test of time though a lot of people complain about the performance of it but it's still a good fragrance in my opinion now i thought this was the original gray flannel but this was old de gray flannel the one i actually picked up and i wish it was the original but it wasn't I'm not a fan of that one either. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. And I'm hoping I'm not getting sick. I know my son Chase and his mother is sick. And I've been around them. Now, I started to pick up this True Religion fragrance. I've seen it a time or two. Um, it was reasonably priced, but I don't know anything about it. I've never smelled it, so I passed on it. As you can see, Dracar Noir was there. That penguin, I wasn't a fan of. That price for this Michael Kors is ridiculous. Um, for that 30 ml bottle, um, I've had that fragrance before, and I don't think it's worth what they're asking for those fragrances. They don't perform well on my skin, but that's just me. Now, this is the one I found that I did pick up that you'll see later on in this video. Yeah, really not much. Nautica Blue Sale or Nautica Blue or whatever that is down there. A lot of Adidas stuff. Um, Burberry Touch, which is still a great fragrance, but a little bit much for that small. I think it was a 30 ml bottle. Uh, Nick Jonas, John Varvatos. I have that one. That's a pretty decent fragrance, but I haven't worn a lot of my John Varvatos fragrances for some reason. They just sit on the shelf. Now, this gift set was pretty good. I found this like a couple of years back around Christmas time. And um, those make great gifts. 20 bucks for four fragrances. They are the spray bottles, not those dabbers. I've had that actual gift set before, I think last year or the year before. And I didn't keep it. Um, I kept the ones that I did like out of it. just left my second stop which is Ross as y'all can see behind me I picked up two fragrances blind well one was a blind buy the other one I had before and I did not like it um it was horrible my kids were with me they were a little bit younger I want to say like maybe preteen uh or early teens and I sprayed it in my truck. This Actually, it's the same truck I'm driving now. I sprayed it and um, 
everybody had to get out the truck. So, uh, wow. <laughs> I can't believe I picked this one up again. But, the only thing they had in Ross wasn't much uh, that I was interested in. A lot of that stuff I've had already or I have. And I picked up gray flannel, the original one that nobody likes. Well, some of us don't like. I picked that up and it was only $11.99, as y'all can see. Um, so I'm gonna give this a shot. Now, interesting enough, I was talking to the young lady who rung me up and I was telling her, she asked me first that, is this the one in the blue bottle? And I said, no, I said, this one, I believe was the green one, the original one. Uh, the other one does smell much, much better. I had it and I didn't keep it. Um, but this one is a little rough for some people. Trust me. Uh, if your nose is not mature, you are not going to like this one. Um, so I'm, I'm just interested to see how much my nose has changed. My taste has changed in fragrances by testing myself with gray flannel by Jeffrey Bean. And the other one I picked up is this one and i haven't even looked up the name of it to see how you pronounce it um but for carnival i guess that's the name of it french riviera uh this is eau de parfum concentration <coughs> excuse me and uh i'm gonna wait till i get home and set the camera up so i can have better lighting and see what's up now i did stop by my local tj maxx first they had absolutely nothing they already have gift sets set out uh, for the holidays but as far as like fragrances it's the same old same old a bunch of cheapy stuff that i'm not interested in or i have had or have and it's really to me not worth even mentioning anymore because everybody and their great grandmother has talked about those fragrances we've beaten that horse to death so I'm not interested in people talking about the same fragrances over and over and over. So, uh, but I did, I was interested, interested in this one and this one was $24.99 if you can see it. And, um, I was a little interested in this one. That was about all they had as y'all can see. So no Mont Blanc, uh, what is it? Mont Blanc. What's the new Mont Blanc that's out now? I can't remember the name of it, but I haven't seen that one in a while yet. But these are the only two stores I've uh, been to as of recent. I haven't been out of town. I haven't been to Savannah, Jacksonville, um, Statesboro, anywhere in the Carolinas. I haven't traveled far from the house uh, as of recently. So with that being said, y'all, the next time you see me, it, I should be in my place at we'll get to it we'll talk about these fragrances and see what's up stay tuned what is up people as y'all can see i am back from my little journey to my local ross and tj maxx um unfortunately i did not record in tj maxx because i didn't think it was worth it they didn't have anything in there uh, they did have some gift sets already set up for the holidays but single fragrance wise there was really nothing to even break my phone out and try to uh, record anything. So I skipped out on that one. I did, however, record at Ross, which really it wasn't much in there either, as y'all can see from the footage. I did, however, pick up two fragrances. And the first one is a blind buy. And it's called... And I'm going to butcher this name because I didn't look it up. Uh, Faconable, I guess that's the name of it. French Riviera Eau de Parfum. This is the box that it comes in. And the other fragrance is from Jeffrey Bean and it is gray flannel. Now, this is not the gray flannel that I thought it was going to be. And the bag says gray flannel but when i opened the package or the bag that it comes in 
it turned out to be Old Day Gray Flannel, which is the blue bottle or the blue juice, which is actually more wearable than the original in my personal opinion. I couldn't stand the original, but I wanted to get the original so I can see how much my nose has grown, my taste has changed since I first started uh, the original gray flannel that I had. Um, I remember buying it in Savannah, Georgia, and I had my two older kids with me at the time, and um, they were like maybe early teens, and I spray. I had went into a Ross, I bought it, I sprayed it in my truck, because I think we were at kfc which is right up the street from that particular ross and all three of us had to get out the truck because that thing was super strong and masculine and i hated it and i took it back well i thought that that's what this fragrance was but no this is eau de gray flannel and i have had this one before this one kind of comes off a little bit on the soapy side it's clean it's fresh um, it's smooth. I like it. It just, it's not a huge performer on my skin. And I know a lot of people are like, ah, well, you know, a lot of fragrances don't have to perform all day and yada, yada, yada. And I get that. I understand that. Cause I've said that also, but for me, I do like my fragrances to stand out a bit. Um, I'm one of those people who, you know, if my cologne, if people aren't talking, I want to try to force them to talk. So that's why I do seven plus sprays when I put a fragrance on, but um, kind of disappointing about this one, but it is what it is. Now, of the two, I do have a gym. And if you like blue fragrances, you'll definitely love this one. This does, however, it doesn't smell like Blue Day Chanel because this is a lot more fresher. This is a lot crisper. Uh, this is bright. It has citrus. It has apple. Um, it has, I believe, what else is in this? I can't remember, but the notes are going to come up on the screen a little bit later in the video. But I like this fragrance. Faconable, I guess that's the name of it. French Riviera Eau de Parfum. And um, I was very intrigued by this fragrance. Now, as y'all saw from the footage, my local Ross didn't have anything else that I was interested in. Uh, I was looking for Mont Blanc Star Walker. I think it's Extreme or something like that. That's the one I actually was looking for and I would have purchased it, but neither one of the stores here had it. So I strike out twice today, but I have high hopes for this one. Uh, not a lot of reviews from people that I watch on this fragrance. I know Joy I mean had a video on this. Um, I did watch some of his video in the store in Ross, um, which is why actually I bought this. If it wasn't for that, I wouldn't have purchased this. He talked highly about this fragrance and Joy I mean is one of the reviewers, the old, one of the OGs in the game that I do revert to when it comes to me picking up something that I'm not sure about. Yes, there are a lot of other reviewers that I listen to, but not a lot of them are talking about fragrances other than the normal stuff that you find in stores every day. Uh, I'm a little bit over watching a lot of those videos. Um, people are going to have to really impress me and show me something different than going to the store and just picking up, you know, the everyday basic fragrance that I've already either had or have had. And I know that those videos aren't gonna be for me so i choose not to watch a lot of those videos and which that's what a lot of people should do if something doesn't interest you just don't watch you don't have to go in the comment section and complain about it or you know something like that but you know that's a story for another time but let's get to it so if i don't like or choose to keep any of these fragrances then my local Ross takes back everything so I can return these and get my 30 something dollars back. But who knows? All right, so let's see. Faconable French Riviera Eau de Parfum. This is the bottle. Lightweight plastic looking cap. I don't, 
I'm assuming that this is like an aluminum coating on the outside of this top with a plastic insert. Um, if you can see it, there's a F inside or on top of the cap. It does kind of click into place. You can hold this one by the cap if you want to, but I never recommend that. Uh, atomizer is not bad. I've already sprayed this. I've tried to do this video once already. Uh, and as you can see, if you can see it on my hand, there's a sheen from what I sprayed earlier. And this smells fantastic. I already have it on, but I want to give myself another spray of both of these so I can get that opening again. But the dry down on this one, superb. It does give off not a Blue de Chanel vibe, but that blue vibe that you get from like uh, Blue de Chanel, um, what's the other one? Um, Blue de Chanel, uh, what is it? By Versace, Dylan Blue, fragrances like that. It gives off that kind of vibe. But like I said, this is a lot more bright. Um, Dylan Blue, can be a little bit overpowering if you over spray one or two maybe three sprays of that will suffice this one is a lot fresher this is a little more sweet and it's not sweet like the sweet that most guys wouldn't like this one is like right it's just smooth it's right there where it needs to be and i like it so atomizer not bad at all there is no alcoholic blast when it comes to this fragrance whatsoever. It has a lot of citrus up top. Uh, the apple in a few seconds is going to start rearing its, its pretty head. I'm already getting it. That sweetness is starting to shine through. Um, this fragrance perfect for a date night. Um, fall when it's not super cold but when it's cool out like it's been uh spring early spring when it's not super hot when it's still kind of cool perfect uh summer i would wear it summer not during the day maybe but at night when it's a little bit cooler very good fragrance i like this one i do give this one two thumbs up i highly recommend you pick this up uh, not sure if I'm pronouncing the name of this right, but if you see it in your local Ross, maybe this is what the box looks like. Once again, it's white and black, silver trim around the name. Check that out. I highly recommend this one, guys. I really do. I don't hype a lot of cheapies like I used to because I was new to the game. And if I can't find any cheapies that are different than what I've already talked about, I rarely bring you a cheapie unless it's a list or something like that. But this one, this blind buy for me is probably one of the best blind buys cheapy wise I've done or I've purchased in a long time with my own money anyway. Yeah, I like this one. So check that out, y'all. Now to the disappointing one. I already have the dry down on my hand. It's okay. This one is more of a dumb reach scent for me. I believe Trey liked this one a little more than I did. I had a bottle of this. Somebody gifted to me. And I liked it, but I didn't keep it. Um, I did, however, want to get my nose on the original one that was more dated smelling or however you want to say it. I know that has rose and leather and, you know, some other notes. Uh, but... This is the one that's a little more on the fresher side. This is Eau de Grey Flannel. And it gets soapy, it's clean. It's more for like fresh out of the shower. If you're gonna run errands or something like that, this, this could be an office scent. If you don't wanna wear something that's gonna overpower or offend people, uh, you can definitely pull this one off. I'm not totally sure if I'm going to keep this one. I may take this one back. I really wanted the original. They didn't have it. They just had this one. The bag said gray flannel. 
I didn't pay attention to the tag that said old day gray flannel. So that was my dumb mistake. And if I could do it, I hit myself with the wah, 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 wah. But yeah, you live and you learn. So those were my two purchases for today. Um, one, I highly recommend this guy. And the other, eh. But that's what I have for you guys. So hopefully you enjoy this video. Uh, remember to like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. I'm out of here, y'all. Here is to smelling great. Peace.